How's it going, everyone? If you uh, are having a problem with your Elgato showing the Xbox One in the, the program, and then it shows this on your TV, then I hope I give me some help, because this isn't a flashy little video. This is just a simple thing that I learned how to do today, and I'm really proud about it, so I'm just going to make a quick video on it. So let's first start with uh, your TV. If, is it, if it is old, if you're able to play the Xbox One on the TV, then uh, it looks good. It's You have 720p. And then if you have anything lower than that, I'm pretty sure like it can play one, one setting lower and it looks really bad. And I'll show it in a bit. But um, let's, let's first things first, you're going to need to uh, unplug the Elgato and plug the Xbox directly into your TV. Okay, so I have my uh, Xbox One directly hooked up to my TV, and I just want to quickly note that I am using the Elgato HD. I do not have the HD60. I do not. I do not know if they have the same problem because I don't have it. But this is just for uh, as far as you know that this uh, the HD goes. This is the fix for me. So uh, I will cover the, my settings on the Elgato after this. Because I guess that that's important as well, but this was the big problem for me. So um, you're gonna go into settings, and then you go into uh, display and sound, and video for video output. This is where I was told to go um, over and over again, and they said to like 720p. Like if like that's how you know your your TV can run 720p because obviously it's it's on that right now. But this is where um, this is where I messed up, I guess. So, if your TV connection is an auto tech, you're going to want to change that to HDMI. This is what I was saying when your TV can play your your Xbox One at a lower like resolution. It looks super bad. Like this isn't my camera. It literally looks that bad. Um, and I I would always go back because I thought like that's what this setting was. But you're supposed to go up one. And change it to 720p. So it should look just like hit yes, just like it did when you had it on auto detect. And so it's still 720p. Nothing's changed. I have. Um, I I don't know if this changes anything, but this is what I have mine set to 24, standard recommended, and then nothing checked. So. Now we're going to go to my settings on the Elgato. Okay, so my um, Elgato uh, software is the most up to date. And so this is what it looks like now. If it doesn't look like this for you, then uh, I don't know, I guess update it. But the, it shouldn't matter because the settings still look the same when you click on them. So my settings for my Xbox One. I have it set to Xbox One, um, standard, HD720. Now, this is uh, important because like like we did on the One, it's 720p. So, um, I feel like, I'm not, I'm not sure, I just know this worked. But mine's at 720p, I feel like if it went anything lower, you would be able to stream or record that super low resolution. Um, hopefully you don't have to go through that and you can do 720 that's just what mine is set to. Uh, best. Mine's at allow 60 frames per second for now. I might change that depending on how well the quality is. Um, I'm told I was told that it still records at 30 frames anyways. But you know, whatever. And then convert and don't check that. Picture's all up to you. That can be adjusted how you want. Um, and my the TV compatibility, that's not like my mine's at the one. Um, I really have a hard time trying to understand this thing with some of my consoles because uh, Elgato support told me it doesn't really like make that much of a difference. It's like little, little things, I guess. I don't know. Um, mine's set to one. You, you can mess with this yourself. It all depends on your TV. And, and now I will plug in the one to the Elgato. So now it is hooked up to the Elgato and it works on the TV now at the same time.
So I hope this helps. Uh, this is a very, I mean, I want to say basic. It's nothing super flashy. It's just like a, a simple little tutorial that I wanted to try to show because it was something I had trouble with and couldn't find a video on it because people make videos on how to fucking like, like plug it in. So, uh, I don't know. I just had to make a quick video on how I fixed it with the auto detect. So that was my problem. I hope it's yours. If not, I'm sorry because I'm not really that good. I've had a lot of uh, troubles with the Elgato, and this is one of the solutions I found. So I probably won't be able to help with anything else because I'm having a problem with uh, the Wii in in regards to another TV because it's like super zoomed in. I might make a video on it if I can figure out how to fix that too. So I hope you guys liked the video if it was helpful, and if not, I'm sorry. Um, you can ask a question in the comments. I'll try to answer it, but most likely... I won't know. So hope you guys have a good day and thank you for watching.